Okay guys, I just thought I'd share with you my uh, small homemade solar setup here. Um, I have about 1600 watts of panels, all uh, 12 volt panels. Um, and I have uh, these, these eight panels you see in the frame here, two, four, six, and then those two on the end right there on the far left is eight panels. I have those panels wired into my charge controllers. Uh, and these panels over here are not wired into my charge controller as I don't have a charge controller large enough to, uh, to support this array of panels. So I'll just take you inside. I have these just hardwired into my battery bank and I'll take you in my garage and show you what I got going on here. But this is my solar setup that I thought I'd share with you. Let's take a look. Okay, here's uh, my battery bank and everything I got going on. I'll try and explain it to you as fast as I can possibly do this. Uh, this is my solar power. The panels that are uh, actually hooked to the charge controller are coming through this line, going through this quick disconnect, and then it, they're going down to these charge controllers. And my battery banks is at 12.5. That's my amps coming in 19.1 and 18.1. And this charge controller has a load on it, which is the lights over my head. There are 12 volt lights that are connected to this terminal here. So that's 18 amps coming in. That's my load on it, which is these LEDs, these 12 volt LED strips that I have here over my head. And um, over here on my other side of the garage, over my messy work tables. But uh, so you can see the power I'm making from my, the panels that are on the charge controller. 19 amps there and 18 amps here. Um, you'll see here. That's 18 amps there and 19 amps coming in on this and that 12 volts so that's what I got coming in on my charge controllers that's all these charge controllers can handle they're actually rated at 15 amps but I have a little more than that coming in and that's the panels that are on the charge controller the power that I'm making coming in and it's going down here to my battery bank um, that would be uh, these green wires coming into my battery bank my two positives and two negatives they're on different ends of my battery bank as you can see um, so uh, and then the panels that I don't have on my uh, battery bank, I'll show you with my fluke here how much power I'm making on those. I mean the panels that I don't have on charge controller. Sorry about that. So I'll take this and this is the panels that I don't have on charge controller right here. Uh, just clipped on as you can see. That's about, that's probably about 40 amps coming in right here on this. And so I'll just put the fluke around it just to see what we're making on uh, that array and that would be this white wire here on that cable and as you can see well can you see that we are making uh, 48 amps 48 amps on uh, the panels that are not connected to my charge controller that are just clipped into the battery bank um, that uh, cable there doing uh, kind of hard to see doing 48 amps plus the amps I'm doing on my charge controllers here but that will be from on this this uh clipped on cable and this one back here um and as far as my battery bank go I actually have a two gauge wire one solid piece of two gauge wire stranded through all my negatives on my battery bank and it loops if you can follow that loop back there and loops into this side and follows all my negatives on this side of the battery bank to there and then I have a negative and positive here well positive and negative here and then I have a uh, same thing on my positive side this loop here with the red tape on it goes and loops and goes up this side here connects all my uh, positives and then so this is a, a solid strand of two gauge ran through these terminals. Uh, I had to bend these terminals to get them to uh, work with these these type battery posts but uh, made them work. It's, I don't know if you guys can see that but uh, anyway and then on my inverters I have a 2 op This is 2 op wire running to my two trip light inverters. This is a trip light APS 2012 and this is a trip light APS 2012. They're 2000 watt inverters they're capable of 4,000 watts for uh, one hour and 5,000 watts for like 
10 minutes or something like that. They're pretty, pretty monstrous inverters. They're um, only 120 volt inverters. They're 120. They're not two. They can't do 220 or 240. But uh, so, um, but these inverters, they, they do real well. I have a lot of stuff running on them. I'm talking about Xbox 360s, Playstations, side-by-side -side refrigerators, a couple microwaves, washer machine, dishwasher. And um, I'll take you inside and show you some of that stuff in a second. But these inverters, they're uh, they're uh, they're also built-in battery chargers. Um, they're hot wire inverters. So this is my uh, AC going out, and it's going uh, up these lines here, these uh, PVC pipes, and um, across my ceiling of my garage, and then they come over here to this uh, breaker box. So excuse my uh, drill press here in a way, but. This is my original breaker box grid th that I labeled grid. And this is my new breaker box that I labeled solar. So what I did here is um, I just uh, took everything that I wanted to run off solar off of my grid box and wired it into this box and powered it on solar. I have my solar feed in this box from my inverters and, and it works out pretty well for me. I'll just take you inside to kind of show you some of the items I'm running on my, my system here. Well, I'm running, uh, I, I purchased a couple extra uh, smoke, uh, smoke alarms, fire alarms, and also a fire extinguisher just for safety. But um, I wash every load of clothes we wash in this house, they get washed on solar. Of course, I can't run the dryer. The dryer's 220. That sucks. But all my clothes uh, we wash in the home gets run on solar. And up in here, my kitchen, I have a typical kitchen. Use everything just like normal people would use. Uh, have a big side-by-side -side refrigerator there. Microwave over the, over the stove, uh, toaster oven, another microwave there on the counter, dishwasher, all these appliances on the counter, they all run on solar, except the stove, of course. That's 220. But dishwasher and all these appliances across here, including this big side-by-side -side refrigerator, all runs on solar. Um, cook pot and everything there. And in my family room here, um, everything in this room, this whole room runs on solar, everything. I'm talking about Xbox 360. That's that's out my back window. You can see my solar panels there in the backyard. But uh, we play Rock Band on solar. Run the computer. This is a gaming computer. It has a for you guys who know about this. It has a Radeon 5870 Ifinity 6 Edition graphics card. Uh, can run six monitors at once on it. I play flight simulators. Uh, I run. We run the PlayStation 3 on it. Watch Blu-ray movies. The Yamaha receiver with the Bose surround sound system, uh, the cable box, and we run a uh, Xbox 360. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's kind of dark. With the Kinect, um, I run uh, subwoofers and power supplies. I have a home theater subwoofer, homemade subwoofer there. Does great. Um, run projectors, uh, lamps, ceiling fan, light fixtures. And I also, in this room, this is like an exercise room here. Um, I, uh, this is some of the equipment I have in some of my computers there. But uh, anyway, I run all this. I run uh, this computer, which is a gaming computer, a small gaming computer. It doesn't have a big graphics card in it. This is an Antec skeleton uh, case uh, that I built. Uh, has a dedicated graphics card, PCI slot. It has a Blu-ray burner and, and drive. It has a, a standard. 500 gig hard drive and an SSD hard drive. 3D monitor, I do 3D gaming on solar. That's uh, my solar panels in the backyard again. But um, my house is a, a four bedroom house with a guest house and it's all 90% of my, 90% uh, of my 120 use is on solar. Almost everything in my house is on solar at 120. This is the guest apartment that I have here. Uh, it has uh, fluorescent lights in it that's on solar, ceiling fan, and everything that's on solar. Um, no one's staying in this apartment now, as you can see. Uh, that refrigerator I had running on solar, but now that no one uses this place, I cleaned it out and unplugged it. That stove is not running on solar, of course. This apartment has upstairs, but just to give you guys an idea on uh, the things I'm running on solar. So if I lease this place out or anything, it won't cost me a penny to... Uh, for electricity, should I say. It's all on solar. So, I think that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll try and keep this video at 10 minutes. Uh, 
have any questions, feel free to ask. I'll try and answer them. Bye.